All right, what's going on, y'all? For me, like, I'm new to this, but I feel like besides of being a commentator, like, commentators, they commentate. I got to commentate on what the commentators are saying. I got to comment on what the commentators are saying. You feel me? And we talking about boxing. You feel me? They got two on, on, on podcasters or what the fuck you want to call these niggas. You feel me? But, like, I'm doing this shit just coming from my heart. You feel me? Blue Blood Sports TV. Fucking fanning. No whole balls. Y'all niggas is dick riders, bro. Y'all niggas is dick riders, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck what nobody want to say. Like, y'all niggas could say, oh, these niggas got good contact. They are dick riders, bro. Like, let me tell you something about these niggas, bro. That's, that, that is so fucked up, bro. And I realize, bro. And I'm about right and I'm about wrong. I'm not about black and I'm not about white. You feel me? I'm not about that, bro. I don't see black and white, bro. I don't see that shit. You feel me? I understand there's mad shit going on in the world. But I actually know that there's a black motherfucker out here who's looking to kill me for no reason. Now, if I go out there, a motherfucker, motherfucker could try to kill me. You feel me? For no motherfucking reason. You feel me? And I actually know that there's 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 a white person that wouldn't want to kill me. You feel me? So this shit is not about black and white. This is about this is this is this about righteousness, bro. I'm about righteousness, bro. If I see if I see a fucking black nigga I'm um, walking down the block and a white nigga walking down the block and a black nigga goes in and snuff the white nigga and 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 and, and try to rob him, you feel me? I'm going to fucking help cuz that's the right thing to do. You feel me? That's the right thing to do. You feel me? All the black person will be like, nah, bro, I don't give a fuck. He white. What the fuck, nigga? Where's your morals? You feel me? So, like, 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 and I'm pro-black, bro. I'm pro-black. I'm not going to say I'm not pro-black. I'm pro-black. I love my people. But this nigga, what these two niggas do is a very, very uncomfortable. And it's very, very annoying. And you feel me? You got, you got white. I know you got white people that watch y'all niggas channel. You got Spanish people. And you got other people that watch y'all niggas channel, bro. Why? Do y'all drag fighters, bro? That is not black. And then when and then when it, when it's come to y'all favorite fighter against the next black fighter, y'all drag y'all own people and y'all talk about protecting y'all people, but y'all drag y'all own people. Example, I'm 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 about to play mad shit on the TV from these motherfuckers, Shannon and Blue Blood from Sports TV. Y'all niggas is weird, bro. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, y'all niggas is weird. Y'all weirdos to me, bro. Y'all niggas need to stop being weirdos, bro. If y'all fan of Errol Spence, say y'all fan of Errol Spence. I'm a fan of Errol Spence, bro. My favorite fighter is Bud, but I'm a fan of Errol Spence, bro. Like, Errol Spence is dead ass the fucking truth, nigga. I respect that nigga to 100%. You feel me? But... Y'all motherfuckers is knocked by everything y'all niggas make. Not even too much Blue Blood Sports TV. Blue Blood Sports TV had made a fucking um, 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 video yesterday or day before yesterday saying fucking, oh, Manny Pacquiao, um, Errol Spence, um, um, Karen Crawford should not be calling for no 60-40 fight. What if Manny Pacquiao, when he was supposed to fight, fight Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao asked for a 60-40 split? Manny Pacquiao is not the great best pound for pound fighter in boxing, bro. He, he is not, bro. It don't matter if he's more. Terrence Crawford was like, um, he's more accomplished than 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 Errol Spence. That's a fact, nigga. He's a he's a pound for pound fighter in boxing, and he's the and, and he's more accomplished than him. Manny Pacquiao is an old ass nigga, bro. Like he's old. The reason why he's gonna he's gonna sell is because he got fans, nigga. You feel me? He's not the best pound for pound fighter in boxing, bro. You feel me? So he can ask for that. He could Terrence Crawford could be like could could say no, no 60 40, nigga. I'm the best fighter right now, nigga. You going out your career, bro. You're you 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 ending your career. You feel me? Like Manny Pacquiao cannot ask for no 60 40 split against no Terrence Crawford, bro. Even if he do, he not getting it, nigga. He not the best pound for pound fighter. How Errol Spence is asking 60 40 on the split with the best pound for pound fighter in boxing, bro. Like, that's mad disrespectful. Why can't it be 50-50, bro? Both of us is considered the best pound for pound fighter in boxing. Terrence Crawford is not lying when he said that Errol Spence is not on his level, bro. He's not. At, at 147, he is. You feel me? But but, but Terrence Crawford moves up, moved up three weight classes, bro, and became undisputed, bro. So why the fuck y'all niggas trying to make it look like the nigga is, is psycho for saying, yo, he's accomplished more than the nigga. So if anything, it's going to be a 60-40. 
You feel me? He was piggyback. And he didn't come out and say, yo, it's going to be a 60-40 split. He didn't come out and say that. If he came out and say that, then I would have been like, yeah, I understand why people say, yo, yo, Bud is whining. Like, he's, he's bugging. You feel me? I will understand that. But he didn't come out and say that. It was Errol Spence that said 60-40. And niggas don't realize that he did it because he don't want the fight, nigga. He seen what fucking Terrence Crawford did to Kell Brook. He don't want to fight him, bro. He don't want to fight him. Niggas want to act like they dumb, bro. Like, niggas, I understand this mad Errol Spence fan. Feel me? But let's really talk about it, bro. He does not want to fight him, bro. Niggas want to say, oh, Errol Spence, I'm um, Terrence Crawford. You're the one that's ducking the fight because um, 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 Errol Spence got all the right to ask for 60-40. No, the fuck he does not, bro. He does not. For a nigga that just came off a car accident, you feel me? He he asked for 60-40, bro. What if Danny Garcia whoop his ass? Then what? Then what, bro? What the fuck is y'all talking about? And I'm not trying to drag Errol Spence. I'm just, I'm just protecting Bud, bro, because nobody's there to protect the nigga, bro. Because niggas just sit here and dick sucking, dick sucking, dick sucking, dick sucking, dick sucking. Every video y'all making is, is about this nigga, bro. Fanon is the weirdest nigga of all time. That nigga is weird. And I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what these niggas do. And I'm going to explain it to you. And, and I can show you. I can show you on YouTube. I can show you what they do, bro. Teofimo Lopez versus Lomachenko. These motherfuckers was violent in Lomachenko, bro. Was violent in Lomachenko, bro. And we understand that Lomachenko got delusional fans. And he got fans that be trying to keep him on top. Even if he's not on top. You feel me? There's other fighters that's better than him. You feel me? Like, I understand the Loma, the Loma hype. I understand that his hype got, you feel me? Settled down by Teofimo Lopez. You feel me? Now look now. Teofimo Lopez got rid of Lomachenko, right? That fanning hated with a fucking passion. He hated Lomachenko, bro. He hated Lomachenko, bro. That is a white fighter, right? He hated Lomachenko, bro. You feel me? Against the next Spanish fighter. You feel me? He hated Lomachenko. You feel me? Because he felt like Lomachenko was hyped up. You feel me? And he wanted that Spanish fighter to get him the fuck out of there. You feel me? So now the Spanish fighter got him the fuck out of there. And the Spanish fighter is the nigga now. You feel me? He drags the nigga, bro. He drags him against other black fighters. I'm not trying to say that Teofino Lopez, he hadn't, he haven't been like, like saying little fucking dumb shit. Cause I feel like that nigga been saying dumb shit and he's pissing me off the fuck too. He's dead ass pissing me off, bro. And I really like him, but he's really pissing me off. Cause he's saying dumb shit. Like Devin Haney got to wait five years of fighting, bro. What the fuck? Devin Haney could whoop your ass right now, bro. Like he can really whoop your ass right now. You feel me? And I'm a Teofimo Lopez fan. And it's just the facts, bro. But y'all niggas doing it from race, from, from a race that I'm, I'm perspective. Y'all not doing it from, oh, this nigga is bugging. Y'all doing it from a race perspective. You want Devin Haney to beat Teofimo Lopez. Why? Because you want a black fighter to have the belt. That's fucking weird, bro. That's weird, bro. That is just weird, bro. That is weird, bro. Boxing is a black sport, bro. That is weird, bro. That is weird. And when it, when it, when it, when it comes to like um, 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 Terrence Crawford... And and, and, and and Errol Spence, Errol Spence is your, is, is, is your favorite fighter because you're from fucking Houston. Or, 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 or Errol Spence, you want Errol Spence to win because you're from Houston. So you tear down Bud. You feel me? Yeah, tear down Lomachenko. You feel me? And then for, for Teofimo Lopez. And then, yeah, tear down Teofimo Lopez for Devin Haney. And then when it comes to Terrence Crawford... And 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 Errol Spence, y'all tear down Bud because Errol Spence is your is your favorite fight. If, if 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 your job is to protect black fighters, bro, why are you tearing down other black fighters, bro? Because I realize that's what y'all doing. Y'all protect black fighters, and as y'all should, because I feel like black fighters aren't, aren't being protected. You feel me? But don't try to go tear, try to protect a black fighter and go tear down a black a next black fighter because you're um that's your favorite black fighter. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Y'all niggas do that shit all day long, bro. Fanny just going here. Yeah, we back on here. And Terrence Crawford <laughs> sucking the nigga dick. The nigga don't even know you. The nigga probably don't even want to do an interview with you. That's why you mad, bro. It got to be some reason why Blue Blood Sports TV love talking about. Because I, I remember when Errol Spence, when Terrence Crawford knocked out Kel Brook. I went straight on YouTube because I'm like, yeah, Fanning and, and Blue Blood Sports TV is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to talk highly at the nigga. And I realized either y'all getting paid or y'all just all are going around just sucking Terrence Crawford dick. I don't know what it is. It is very weird to me. And it's uncomfortable. Y'all niggas need to stop doing that, bro.
Y'all niggas need to stop doing that, bro. And I, I don't do blogs or none of that shit. I'm just doing this shit because it's very uncomfortable to watch it. Because I'm, a, I was a fan of Blue Blood Sports TV and I was a fan of fanning until y'all niggas absolutely just sit here and make videos about the nigga. And he's a black fighter, bro. Y'all tear the nigga down. Why? Because he's under Bob Arum. What the fuck, nigga? Y'all niggas don't understand. Lord, when I was, I was looking at Terrence Crawford, I'm like, yo, bro, you bugging the fuck out, bro. You don't want to fight the top fighters, bro. You feel me? Like, that's what I'm looking at the nigga as, bro. You feel me? But then I realized that it's not him, bro. It's the promoter. It's Bob Arum. But yes, Bob Arum put so much bread in his thinker pocket, bro. It's like the nigga just can't sit here and be like, yo, bro, fuck this nigga. You feel me? That's kind of, I feel like that's the vibe I'm getting from Bud, bro. Because that nigga put bread in his pocket. He can't say, yo, fuck this nigga. You feel me? That's the vibes I'm getting from Bud. That's why Bud ain't never leave top rank yet. That's the vibe I'm getting from the nigga. You feel me? And I, I don't like it. I'm going to keep it a stack. I don't like it. I don't like it. I would tell Bud that, bro, I don't like it, bro. Somebody spitting in your face right in front of you and you not doing shit. You just stand there. Like, I don't like it. I would tell him that to his face. But that's neither here or there. Y'all niggas should not be trying to tear down Bud, bro. And talking about, you know, he didn't fight nobody. He didn't do this. He fought American. He fucked up American. He made American quit. Nigga, he made American quit. Then he fight the Me Machine. Me Machine is fucking good. He was a good fighter, niggas. Bro, word to my mother, bro. This is the type of shit that I don't understand, bro. If you put on Benavidez, the nigga, the nigga that got shot in his leg, you feel me? If you put him in there with, with a, a fighter like Sean Porter, it's not going to be the same fighter that he fought, er, um, fought Terrence Crawford, bro. Because Terrence Crawford is a different type of fighter. He neutralized your ass because he find your weakness in your fighting. Your fighting skills, you feel me? Like these 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 fighters that 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 that, 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 that um Terrence Crawford um, um fought, they would give all these niggas problems, bro. They would give Sean Porter problems. They would give all these niggas problems that Terrence Crawford is beating, bro. They would give them problems. The reason why Terrence Crawford beats them in so much fashion is because the nigga is the to me, bro, he's the greatest boxer of this generation, bro. Of this generation, I'm not going to call him Floyd. Floyd came out in 99, 1996 type shit and shit like that. I'm, I'm talking about for this generation, bro. You feel me? Like, he has to be the greatest fighter, bro. It's not Canelo Alvarez, bro. Because Canelo Alvarez then got tested for, for, for steroids and all this extra shit, bro. It's not fucking, um, 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 um. Errol Spence, because Errol Spence only stood in one weight division. This nigga moved up three weight division, bro. Like, is y'all niggas fucking retarded or something? Or y'all just like sucking dick? You feel me? Like, I don't know what it is, bro. Get off this nigga dick and stop making false shit about the nigga, bro. Like, what the hell? This nigga come on there. The, the, it's his title is always Bud Crawford. Bud Crawford this, Bud Crawford that. What the fuck did that nigga do to you, bro? That's weird, bro. That is very weird, bro. That's weird, bro. That's weird, bro. That's weird, bro. That's weird. And we just having a conversation. That's why this video won't be so long. Like, we on, we having a conversation. And I don't care. I, yeah, watch the video, bro, because I got a lot to say, bro. You feel me? Y'all niggas tear down, tear down. I never hear none of these niggas talk about Ryan Garcia. Never, bro. Never hear none of these niggas talk about Ryan Garcia. Never. You'd be so surprised if I ever hear, yo, Ryan Garcia. They don't talk about Spanish fighters. And Spanish people are fucking black. Even if they don't want to believe it or not, they're black. But, of course, Blue Blood Sports TV and, 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 and fan. And like I said, it's not even too much of Blue Blood Sports TV. Blue Blood Sports TV, I feel like he just being a dick rider with these niggas too. Just following, you feel me? But you would never hear fan and talk about a Spanish fighter. And I'm not on here to protect Spanish fighters. I'm just letting it be known that y'all niggas are racist or y'all try to be racist because black people can't be racist. We don't have the resources. We don't have we don't have that to be to be racist. You feel me? But y'all try to be, bro. And that shit is annoying, bro. That shit is wild annoying, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. That shit is annoying. That shit is wild annoying, bro. That shit is absolutely annoying, bro. Cause ain't no motherfucking way y'all niggas acting like black, like Spanish people aren't black. They probably don't look at themselves as black. 
You feel me? And they probably got mad shit to say about black people, but they're black, bro. They're black. They're just so fucking dumb that they don't know that they're black. You feel me? So the Spanish people, they 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 fuck with Spanish fighters. The black fighters fuck with black fighters. But niggas don't understand that 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 Spanish people are black. Y'all creating this whole separation and y'all black too. What the fuck? You feel me? But these niggas don't have that notation. They don't have that. They're not, they're never gonna say like, yo, yo, I don't understand why Spanish fighters act like the way they act towards black fighters, but they're black. So I'm not gonna sit here and discriminate against them. And just keep your channel not about discrimination. Y'all niggas discriminate all oh, those, oh, son. Fanning, bro, you're the worst, bro. You're the worst, bro. You're the worst, bro. You're the worst, bro. I don't know if nobody ever told you that, but you're not a good a good blogger, bro. You're not, bro. You're a very racist, try to be racist blogger, and a biased blogger. I'm not the none of that. I'm not a blogger. I'm just gonna keep tell you how I feel, bro. Get off Bud Dick. And stop and stop sitting here and putting down Spanish fighters, bro. For black fighters. Stop doing that. Stop doing that, nigga. Stop doing that. Because Spanish people are black, even if they don't fucking know. They're black. Stop doing that. Stop doing that shit. Stop doing that shit. Stop when it's, it's a Loma Chinko versus a a, 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 a a Spanish fighter. You root for the Spanish fighter. But when it's a Spanish fighter versus the black fighter, you root for the black fighter. But when it's two black fighters, you, you, root, you, you root for your favorite black fighter and then tear down. Tear down the other black fighter. You tear Terrence Crawford down, bro. You do it in all your videos, bro. You tear the nigga down. You come on there and you talk about, oh, um, how come people don't know Terrence Crawford? And you try to make a joke out of it. You trying to make it look like you protecting him, but you're trying to make a joke out of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Some people don't even know his last name. Like, nigga, you're not coming at Bob Aaron when you're saying that, bro. You know that. You know that. It's it's a, it's a it's kinda like a sarcasm um 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 this, bro. That's what you're doing. You're a fucking faggot. That's what you are, you're a faggot. Nigga gonna come on there, gonna sit here talking about, oh, there shouldn't be no reason why people people don't know Errol Spence either, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? But Errol Spence is not a household name, nigga. None of these niggas is household names. In order for niggas to be known, like Floyd Money Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, motherfucker, them niggas aren't known. Niggas can say Floyd Money Mayweather, and niggas know who he is. Niggas can say Manny Pacquiao, niggas know who... Nobody don't know Errol Spence, nigga. So you trying to make it look like Errol Spence is a house? No, the fuck he's not. Niggas don't know him. What are you talking about? Niggas don't know him. And Errol Spence have not... The knockout on Terrence Crawford and Kel Brook. That is a legendary knockout, pussy. Give respect. That wasn't even a fucking hook. That wasn't even a, a jab. He made his own move, nigga. That's knocking niggas the fuck out. That was a legendary knockout, nigga. The fourth round, bro. You don't give a... Y'all niggas gonna be like, Carol Brook was washed up. Carol Brook needs to retire. This and this and that. But Carol Brook won his last three fights. Right? And Carol Brook is looking so amazing. He's He feels so good. Y'all niggas is like, oh yeah, this is gonna be Terrence Crawford. Tough fight. And then when a the nigga go in there and the nigga handle business, y'all y'all be like, oh, um, Carol Brooks is washed up. So if if the nigga if Carol Brook would have gave him if they would have won like twelve round and Terrence Crawford would have beat him, y'all would have gave him respect for that. But just because the nigga knocked him out in fourth round, Carol Brook is a shell of himself. Suck dick, nigga. Y'all niggas is haters, bro. Straight, bro. Y'all niggas is haters, bro. Haters, bro. Haters, bro. Haters. Haters, y'all niggas is haters, bro. I don't give a fuck if I get thumbs down for this video, nigga. I'm talking real life shit. I'm talking real life shit. You come on on here, you talking about Sean Porter. Is a is a sellout because oh this and this and that he not protecting Deontay Wilder, nigga you a fucking sellout nigga, Fanning you a sellout nigga you're a sellout bro you're a sellout 
When it's Eric, Eric Spence versus Terrence Crawford, you rip down Terrence Crawford. That is selling out. He's still a fucking black fighter. Why are you ripping down the next black fighter? So the audience, some audience that, that probably don't even watch boxing, that's sitting here going to watch boxing for the first time, is going to have this image of Terrence Crawford. Even though this nigga been knocking out everybody. His last eight fights, he's knocking everybody out. That is weird for y'all niggas to do, bro. If y'all don't like Bob Aram, y'all don't like Bob Aram. Stop coming at Terrence Crawford, bro. He didn't do nothing. He's fighting the niggas that's put in front of him, and he's beating them. What the fuck? He's not on the side where all the fighters on the side, but don't try to sit here and rip the nigga for that. That is bullshit, because the nigga moved up three weight classes. That is bullshit, bro. Y'all know that. Feel me? So get off the nigga dick, bro. That's all I want to tell y'all. Get off his dick.